How Vladimir Putin's Bodyguard Responds to an Attack In the United States, notable political figures are protected mainly by the Secret Service, a department of the U.S. Treasury that is also tasked with investigating crime in the American financial sectors. Apart from the economic aspect of the USSS dual role, its protection of the President of the United States is its most prominent mission. The Russian Federation has almost the same protection service, but without the additional role of protection against financial crimes like forgery and counterfeiting. Its bodyguard agency is called the Federal Guard Service of the Russian Federation, or simply just the Federal Protective Service. American Secret Service agents protect the president, vice president, families, prior presidents, visiting dignitaries, presidential candidates, and prior vice presidents and their families. That's a huge mission, one that alters all the time. The Russians take the security much further. The Russian security extends to the prime minister. Recently, Mikhail Mishustin, speakers of the state Duma and its legislative body, Foreign Minister, Defense Minister, the Director of the Federal Security Service, who is the successor to the Soviet KGB, Chairman of the Security Council, also the head of the Presidential Administration and his deputies, and the Chairman of the Central Election Commission. It's no surprise that the Federal Protective Service is its own agency with a mission so huge. The U.S. Secret Service has so many various roles and responsibilities and is thus required to open its recruiting pool to many distinct disciplines. One might believe the Russian's protective service would be looking for combat veterans, police officers, and those from similar fields for guarding Vladimir Putin. But the Russians don't want just fighters. Attacking Putin would be no easy achievement. Not only does he have bodyguards next to him at all times, he's also accompanied by snipers stationed on rooftops. This is how Putin's team would respond to an attack. Putin is guarded by the Federal Protective Service, which also protects other high-ranking Russian officials, as I stated before. Putin has a special unit within this service that's in charge of his personal protection. They work in four distinct circles. If Putin was targeted in public, his first circle of protectors would be directly responsible for keeping him secure. This first team stands close to the president at all times. They must be determined to take a bullet to defend him. They carry Kevlar umbrellas and special suitcases that can be utilized as shields once the president is protected. They would eliminate the attacker with the 9mm Gerza pistols they carry, which are apt to shoot 40 bullets per minute. It's unlikely an enemy would ever get that close because Putin's second circle of bodyguards is busy monitoring the crowd for any threats. They dress formally to adapt to the crowd and act discreetly as they patrol. If they spot a possible threat, they would likely separate the suspect from the crowd and quickly take them into custody. There is also a third team of bodyguards who are in charge of guarding the perimeter at public events. They stand just outside the crowd making sure no mysterious individuals get close to the president. If they do their job efficiently, no attacker will ever get close enough to Putin. Team 4, the last circle of protection, can be located on the rooftops. A team of well-coached snipers is at the ready to eliminate the threat. If someone were to run towards Putin or make questionable movements, there would quickly be a red dot on their forehead. If an attack does take place, the bodyguards will take steps with immediate extraction of the president from the scene. Putin has an armored convoy that can rapidly whisk him away to a secure place. Heavily armed military soldiers are part of the convoy and Putin's personal limousine is both bomb-proof and bulletproof, preventing attacks, of course. Russian protection agents are presumed to meet height and weight standards, but combat veterans and police detectives aren't all who are needed for this line of work. Candidates are enlisted first for their foreign language skill and their capability to understand national and international politics. The Russian government expects its security services to be aware of who might be approaching the president and to treat them according to the respect they deserve. They are also selected for their toleration level, Russian bodyguards require a high level of stamina for their work. 
They need to maintain a unique sense of dress, the same suits and ties, no matter how hot or cold it is outside. And some say they are demanded not to sweat, even in intense heat. They are supposed to take drugs that influence their body's processes to meet the demands on them. Lastly, the president's security also consists of a perfectly armed quick reaction force of Russian military special operators in an armored vehicle for any type of complicated attack, even if it comes from a tank or aircraft.